Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Brendan from Modern to Me, and today we're going to be talking about incremental operators. What you want to use an incremental operator for is if you want to add or subtract your variable by one. Yeah, that's it. That's all it actually does. But there's, uh, there's a few quirks to it, and I'm going to show you how you do it. So let's name our, uh, let's make an integer, and we'll name this integer, let's name it something fun. Let's name it, let's name it after me. You know, all those scientists name stuff after themselves. I'm going to name a variable after myself. So int Brendan is equal to four. Okay. And now how you uh, increment your own variable is you type the variable name. And then if you want to add one to it, you just type plus plus and then a semicolon to finish off the statement like you always do. And so if we, uh, if we output our variable by system dot out dot print ln and we put in our put in myself Brendan and if we run this control oops ah messing things up control f11 you'll see that you get five so there you go it was incremented by one if you repeated this statement a whole bunch of times you'd get the number of uh you get four plus however many uh plus pluses however many incremental operators you added uh you can also do this with minus minus if you do uh, Brendan minus minus we should get three and that's what you see over here you see that we get three so perfect uh, the tutorial does not end here <laughs> it sounds pretty easy I could end it here but I'm not lazy and I'm gonna teach you a little bit more so you are a better programmer okay so we have our variable Brendan and I showed you that you can put uh, Brendan plus plus like just like that uh, but what you can actually do is you can also do plus plus Brendan and actually you can increment this variable right in this op, uh, right in this uh, what do I want to call it right in the statement right here right in the system dot dot print line you can increment this variable you can pretty much increment a variable anywhere you want with this plus plus thing so you can do this wherever so you can do a plus plus Brendan Brendan plus plus you're probably thinking all right is that just for fun or is there a difference of course there's a difference it's not just for fun they didn't just add this because they were bored well it's probably what a lot of people who program do me included but there is a purpose so let's try this out if we do uh, system.out.println and we do brendan plus plus let's try uh let's just add another statement system dot uh, print line print line and we do plus plus brendan Oh my gosh, I did that again. Okay, stupid control F. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's run this and see what we get. Four, then six. What the heck? That's incrementing it by two, not one, right? Well, actually, let's see what happened here. So when we uh, did this first plus plus here, the plus plus was after the variable name. So what happens when you do that is it outputs the it uses the variable because it doesn't you can use you can do these incremental operators wherever you want so it uses the variable first in our case it outputs the variable first and then it increments it when you put the plus plus before uh, before the variable name it increments the variable or it decreases the variable but it, it, it increases the variable by one and then uses it so that's why you see here it's like okay I'm gonna use this variable Brendan it's equal to four I output four and then I increment it to five. And then right here, it's like, okay, I have this variable, Brendan, it's five, I'm gonna increment it, so now it's six, and now I output it. So that's why you see that what you got right here is four and then six. So nothing tricky, uh, the same rules apply to the minus minus, you can do uh, minus minus before and after, and it has the same effects. So nothing tricky there. I will see you in the next tutorial where we talk about methods. Bye bye.